Hello folks and welcome to a very special holiday episode of Ryan's Pop Tarts Review. Now today, I'm gonna be honest with you, we're doing a re-review of an old type of Pop Tart. And I haven't reviewed this one for roughly six years. So I think, you know, we've hit the statute of limitations where I can kind of revisit flavors if there's at least some kind of good reason for it. That's it. Today's Pop-Tart is Frosted Gingerbread. Hey, yeah, this looks familiar, doesn't it? Today, we're gonna go kind of opposite of summer and we're gonna talk about gingerbread Pop-Tarts. I know, whoa, gingerbread in the middle of summer? What's up with that, right? If you've been following these weekly, you may have noticed that I didn't post an episode last weekend. Normally I do, try to get one out every Saturday, but I was a little bit too busy playing Pokemon Go. Which, just like the Pop-Tarts we're about to talk about, isn't actually available in Canada! And the great thing about that wonderful segue that I made six years ago is that it segues well here in the fact that gingerbread is back on store shelves, and this time it is available in Canada, which is just... And, well, you know, since I've reviewed this already, it's uh, probably going to be a pretty easy one to do again. I can't uh, imagine it's going to be especially different this time around. I don't know, maybe the recipe for gingerbread Pop-Tarts has changed. I gotta get a plate. these suckers out and uh, they are like printed fun again hold on I'm not gonna cut I'm just gonna do this see we got oh god the light we got this one it's got Santa stuck in the chimney ho 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 hilarious he's he's overweight that's that's not something to make fun of people for Kellogg's, come on. And this one, what do we got here? Oh, we got a little Christmas tree with Pop-Tarts underneath it. Those Pop-Tarts, by the way, are not to scale, um, or else it's a small Christmas tree. Actually, actually, hold on. Yeah, you know what, that's... This, the Christmas tree on this printed fun Pop-Tart is just slightly smaller than my Christmas tree. Okay, so that was that fun. Let's just get these guys in the toaster. Toaster's not plugged in. That was the light. I'm great at making videos. Let's get these guys in the toaster. done. Pop tarts are out. A little bit hot, but not hot. So hot to stop me. I'm not gonna want a gingerbread from it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's kind of, it's, it's a little late to the party. The corner fell off of this one, and I ate it without toasting it, and it was way more gingerbread flavory. So, I don't know. Does the heat invalidate ginger or something? I don't know. Weird. Um, but I honestly think these are really good. Um, the filling, I don't know, it's, <clears throat> is it special? Is it anything? Frosted gingerbread? No, I think it's just like vanilla frosting, but, mm. the pair is really well with the mildly gingerbread crust. And, oh, they're delicious. If I were still a young person who ate completely indiscriminately, this box would have been polished off way before <laughs> I even set up to start taking this video, or making this video, shooting this video, whatever the correct verb is there. They are delicious. 
but that is not the reason that I am re-reviewing gingerbread pop tarts. No. In fact, the real reason is on the box. As you can see here, there's instructions to build your own Pop-Tarts gingerbread house. Wait, wait, hold on. Have I seen somebody try to do that before? Doing something different today, different-ish. Uh, we still got Pop-Tarts. And that project is to build a Pop-Tarts style, or a Pop-Tarts gingerbread style house. Look at all the, oh man, there's so much icing collecting here, but that's probably fine. It's not thickening as much as I want it to, either. Oh, uh, you tricky, sticky little guy. Oh no, oh geez, oh geez, oh man, oh boy. I think this is the end, I think this is just, tried to do that. I had that idea. Kellogg's is ripping me off. They saw my video from two years ago. I don't remember. And they said, hey, let's take that idea, put it right on our boxes. We'll claim the fame and millions of dollars for this idea because it's brilliant and, and great if you can actually do it properly. Anyway, let's let's read these instructions here. There, there are three steps to building a Pop-Tarts gingerbread house, which uh, you know, having failed at it already seems a little bit simplistic to me, but let's let's read them out. Uh, number one is, hold on, build walls and roof with pop tarts. Okay. Two, use frosting as glue to secure pieces together. I feel like parts one and two should probably be one part, really. I mean, that's kind of two parts of the same step. And three. Once your Pop-Tarts gingerbread house is built, deck it out with candy and Kellogg's cereals. Yeah, because you can see all sorts of candy. Uh, there's some mini wheats as a little side. Well, hold on. I'm back, baby. Mini wheats and what I assume are Christmas Fruit Loops. So really, the Pop-Tarts house is a stolen idea from me and a ploy to convince people to buy other Kellogg's products. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this year's version of gingerbread Pop-Tarts. They're delicious as maybe usual. I don't know, this is the only, this is the first time I've had them in years, so I cannot remember what they actually tasted like back then. And I don't trust six-year-old me, or six years ago me, to know what's what. I mean, he was a different Ryan, so, you know, can't really trust him at this point in time. But yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say for today. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Merry Xmas to everyone, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye! <laughs>